first, our CNG group coming in from London has come in to enter into an MOU with the state government in driving the school into the desired level. But we cannot be talking of a school if we don't know the, where the site of the school is. And we need to let the critics know that this business is for real. We have come here, we have laid the foundation ceremony last year, but to prove that we are starting this school endlessly and on budget and to ensure that we are on track, we need to bring our partners here who will see what we are doing and they begin to have their input from the level of conception because they will require to help us structure the school to suit the kind of workshops and training that will help us get the world-class certification that we expect to get for our youths. The second leg of it is that the training itself starting from this process, the first category of students will be part of the construction of the school itself. We will select some categories of students who will be part and parcel of the construction. So they'll be undergoing training because the CNG people are part and parcel of the development of the school itself. The training has, in other words, started. So those first category of students will learn their skills through the building of the school that's supposed to serve as a training ground. So this is why we have come here today. And like I said, we are driving this school to an international standard. That is why everything we do will take our time to get it done rightly. And we are partnering with the best practices. C and G will enable our students. For those who don't know, City and Guilds is a world acclaimed and acknowledged certificate in middleman power training that allows you to be versatile and very familiar with any chosen field. And it has different categories. As a matter of fact, it is going to help those of our people that have learned skills, who have not gone through formal education, but have learned skills on their own, i.e. mechanics, carpenters, uh, roadside, uh, whatever you can talk about it, would ensure that there's a middle manpower training program that will enable them to enhance their skills to make them better service delivery agents, and most importantly, will also make them potential employers of other people. So for every person we train, he will also be training a minimum of five, five persons wherever he goes to. So you can imagine how many people will be trained and retrained and retrained and continue to be trained on that platform. This, the state's responsibility will now be to continue to enhance our small and medium enterprise scheme which is designed to create monies to be available for young graduates from institutions like this so that they can jumpstart their own businesses in incubator levels and they will also grow to those levels and become potential entrepreneurs who will not only empower themselves but will also be potential employers of other youths that are not employed. This will be our own contribution, inshallah, to driving the menace of unemployment and wealth creation to the desired levels. Thank you and God bless. Who will we require to bring their standards to international standards? Don't forget, we are not training people who will just work in Omar or Share or Fa. We are training people that can go to Dubai to work. We are training people that can go to Ghana to work. So even those who have been trained locally will require to get their training enhanced to international standards. If you have been a keen observer of construction and electrical works that have been going on around Nigeria today, you will see that the best ones have been done by those who come from neighboring countries, either from Ghana, from Togo, mm -hmm. from Benin, and other places. And if you ask each of them, you bother to ask them, you, you have come from Ghana. What is your qualification? You tell them that you are If you go to Dubai, go to construction sites, see the average worker there and ask him, what is your background? Where did you train? You tell them that you are So why don't we make our students and our own people end that CNG? Because we have more people than anywhere else. For God's sake, we have over 167 million people. 
So Nigeria is huge. We should be potential exporters of manpower, not importers. So we are training people that will be exportable to other parts of the world, in addition to those who will work for us.